A fact-finding committee set up by the University of Ghana to probe reports of sex for grades has, has cleared the two lectures at the center of the British Broadcasting Corporation documentary. The two lecturers, Professor Ansford Jampo and Dr. Paul Kwame Butako, have been cleared of any act of sexual misconduct by the fact-finding committee. The lecturers were, however, found culpable of conducting themselves in a manner which has brought embarrassment to the university. The committee advised university authorities to refer the duo to the disciplinary committee of the university for appropriate action. The BBC on October 7, 2019, aired a documentary titled Sex for Greats, which accused some lecturers in certain African universities, including the University of Ghana, of sexual harassment and misconduct. Let's look at some of the key findings of the disciplinary committee with regards to this particular one. Now, uh, it, they say that they didn't find any evidence. The committee concluded that there was no evidence from the BBC documentary to prove sexual misconduct, that the BBC documentary provided no evidence that the lecturers demanded sex for grades. The committee further noticed that the, uh, they noted that the title of the documentary was sensational and misleading. Uh, it also found inappropriate behavior. The report said Professor Jampo and Dr. Butako breached paragraph 64 of the Code of Conduct. It said the action of the two lecturers in the said video did not promote the image of the university and therefore they ought to be hauled before the disciplinary committee. It also cited uh, um, the, the committee found credible evidence that the conduct of uh, Professor Jampo and Butako was damaging and caused embarrassment to the university. The committee further found Professor Jampo's remarks in the video, including the now infamous, have you been violently kissed before, a vexatious conduct against Abigail, the undercover journalist.